I have decided that I'm going to try pitching the blades on this fan, and what I mean by that is increasing the pitch on the blades. Because this thing just runs way too fast on low right now, and medium. So I want to try putting uh, more of a load on the motor to get it to slow down more on the lower speeds. Uh, now I'm kind of nervous about this because I don't want to wreck these blades and throw it off balance. I have this. I have done this with uh, fans in the past, but um, no, I really like this one, and uh, I don't want to screw it up. If I do, I'll just buy another one. But um, I, I want to be as careful as possible with this, so I'm going to start taking it apart. It's uh, held together by these clips, as you can see, and there's one screw at the bottom, right there. So let's uh, get to this. Now comes the fun part. I am very nervous right now. Don't want to screw this thing up. I got the blades pitched a little bit. Let's see if it's any quieter and lower now. And see how balanced it is. That is much better. It's a lot quieter. It's not off balance, so I'm going to maybe do a little bit more, then I'll check the amp draw and uh, let it run for a while and see how hot the motor gets. I, I think this motor will be able to handle it without any problems, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy so far. It didn't uh, turn into a complete disaster like I thought it would, so let's keep going at it. I want to see what the kilowatt meter says. Uh, this fan is rated at 1.3 amps. Originally it was pulling about 1.36 so it was slightly over. Uh, let's see what it does on high now. Okay, so it is pulling a little bit more than it should be. So, um, I'm going to test run this thing for a while and see how hot the motor gets. If it cuts off on thermal overload, then I'll know we screwed up. But, um, right now I'm a lot happier with the way it's running. And if this does end up crapping out on me, I'll just, like I said, I'll just buy another one. And, and matter of fact, I think I'm just going to order another one anyway. Um, because I like this, and then with the other one, I'll probably just run a capacitor in series with low speed and uh, get it to slow down that way. I'm going to have to decrease the pitch a little bit. I got it a little bit too far. Um, I'll turn it up to high and you'll see why. Not running very fast. Low is nice and quiet though. So let me do some adjustments and get that back into an acceptable range. I decreased the pitch a little bit so it uh, has a little bit more speed on the high.
I'd like it to be a little bit faster on high, so I'm going to keep working at it. I'm going to let it run for a while now. Uh, it's back in sort of an acceptable amp range. So I'm going to let it run and see how hot the motor gets, make sure it doesn't cut off on thermal overload. It'll run on low for a while. Okay, I've been running it for over an hour on high and uh, nothing's happened yet, so that's good. The motor is a little warm, but I think that's to be expected. Once I, I ordered a second one of these uh, this morning, so once I get that, I'll compare the uh, different motor temperatures, see if uh, this one's getting hotter than the other one. As of right now, there's not really anything new to report. It hasn't uh, cut off on thermal overload. And it's drawing about 1.18 on low, about the high.